fucking mic fucking check. Mic check. Fucking we are mic at check. the end of night two. Come on. A WrestleMania. Come on, man. Hey, man. WWE did a thing that I did not think Come WWE on, was going to do. Man. Cody Rhodes, man. Cody motherfucking Rhodes. Yeah, I'm about to say pin it, pin it on, pin it on. Pin, pin the mic on. Cody Rhodes. Undisputed WWE. Undisputed WWE World Heavyweight, World Heavyweight Champion. Y'all can hear the sound of my voice while I'm sounding low. <laughs> and girl, I don't give a damn if you want to put it in a damn podcast. Me, like I'm going back and forth and back and forth. I wanted to see Roman break Hogan's streak. <laughs> but no, all you motherfuckers had to see. Oh, I got to finish the story. I got to finish the story. Well, the story is finished. You crybaby ass people. <laughs> Cody Rose is our new Universal World Heavy, whatever the hell, champion. Yeah, damn yeah, it. yeah. All right, hey man, pro wrestling is a beautiful it, thing it beautiful. when it's done right. I mean, it's, yeah, it was done right. Pro wrestling man. is a beautiful thing uh, when it's done right. This is the only time I wish Vince was back because <laughs> Vince would have had Roman with it. <laughs> <laughs> this this would have had something else going on this at the is, Mania too. This is, okay, we're not gonna get into that. We're not gonna get into that. Well, it's the big show. <laughs> big deal. No, no, no. Okay, all right, all right. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, but nah, man. I I for real. So, so again, I have no faith in WWE doing the doing the right thing. Uh, I have faith, you know, I know the WWE's gonna do the WWE thing. Yeah. But WWE did the right thing. Yeah, I guess. WWE did the right thing. They they took their biggest baby face since Cena. Yeah, and they, oh, don't even give me Cena that. So, hey, speaking of yeah, Cena. Let's talk about the chicanery in that main event Cena, real quick. Let's just start right at the top, y'all, with let's, the main event, man. Uh, hell of a fucking match you know, between Roman and... Uh, and uh, 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 Cody, hell of a match, physical match. And then first step of sh- uh, shenanigans that started, we had Jimmy Uso come in, kick what's the name in the face? Kick who did he kick in the face? Cody in the face? He kicked uh, Jimmy Uso kicked Cody in the face. Okay. And then Jay came out after that uh-huh. and kicked uh, uh, well stopped uh, Jimmy yeah in the in the in the ramp right right. As we pour our drinks, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> I try. I try to hold the yeah, mic with one hand and pour the files. Okay. Yeah. I had. To, I tried to pour the mic, uh, pour the drink with one hand and hold the mic with the other. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and the couple's like, no sir, mm-hmm. no sir, you cut off. Yep. Uh, we're looking at the replay, and then after that, of course, John fucking Cena. Well, first, first, the Rock came out. Yeah, the rock came, rock no, came out. Cena came out first. This oh no, you're right, you're right. Cena, Cena came out first, Cena then came the rock. Out first. Yeah, Cena came out first, and then the rock came out to challenge Cena. Yeah, uh, rock just gave Cena a rock bottom, yeah, bottom, a bottom. I enjoyed, I really enjoyed. And then the Undertaker. Wow, didn't see that at all. The Undertaker. The Undertaker. So I'm, I am, I am a little. I'm not gonna say disappointed, but I thought, I thought Austin was coming out. Yeah, I thought Austin I, was I, gonna I, do I was something. Awesome, but we got Taker. Yeah, we got that, Taker. That, yeah, that's just as good. That's just as good. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. That's just yeah. as good. But yeah, man, I think overall, uh, I think overall the main event did everything that I wanted it to do. Absolutely. Uh, it it was a lot of. They, I feel like they saved all of the craziness for the end of Mania and the, for and the main that's, event, and that's what we got. That's <laughs> what we got. Yeah. So that was cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cody Rhodes winning. I you know. I, I was telling everybody I thought Roman was winning because, no. like I say, I don't believe in WWE doing the right thing. Yeah. Hey, they did the right thing. So I checked the over under all night for Mania, and Cody was the he was the favorite. Yeah, he was uh yeah, I think it was like minus three hundred. Yeah, and Roman was plus two hundred. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, we've had Cody getting his ass with the last three <laughs> WrestleManias. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got to do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, it. You know, I mean. Okay, and I think this is a, a, a testament to Triple H. Mm-hmm. A testament to Triple H doing the thing that people want to see. Right. Because Vince would have dug his heels in and just been like, "No, nah, dog. No. Roman wins. Roman making money. Yeah, Roman, Roman, Roman wins. Yeah. Whenever, whenever I give the title to Cody, that's when y'all don't like it. Right. And people are going to revolt. Right. That's why people have revolted against every baby face that Vince has ever pushed. That's true. So I think part of this new era right now is. Hey man, we're gonna do what the fans want to see right. when they want to see it. Right. 
And hey, the folks, the folks want to see Cody yeah. Rose. Man. Cody took a lot. He took a lot. He yeah. did. I mean, yeah. He got his ass whipped by the rock like yep. week after week. Yep. Uh, WrestleMania yeah. Behind the Curtain comes Wednesday on YouTube. Yeah. That's that's, yeah, that's coming up pretty soon. But we got us a little press conference coming up soon. Yeah. Uh, Nia, Nia, Nia Jackson, Jackson on the screen right now. All right. So night two of WrestleMania. What yeah. is, what's your grade? What do you give it? Um, I give it I give it a B. Okay. I give it a okay. solid B. Yeah, me too. Um, you know, I miss I miss the uh the uh the world heavyweight title uh yeah, stuff. That was cool. You know, it was it yeah. was dope. I, I went back, looked at it, uh the, the highlights of it, but it looked like it was really dope. Yeah, yeah. Uh Seth Rollins losing the world heavyweight title to yeah. uh to Drew McIntyre, but yeah. then Drew uh, then uh Damian Priest right cashing in money in the bank. Yep, yeah against Drew McIntyre. Yeah, yeah. So my biggest thing is, do you think Drew McIntyre is sticking around? Um, I'm gonna say yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I think he's sticking around. Uh, I and I think he's gonna get a chance to get that belt back again. If, sure. But if not, uh, he, he he did the best he could. Yeah. He gotta go somewhere else. You know. I think I think he did he did an awesome job with what he had in WWE. Mm-hmm. Um, if he is pursuing some other contract somewhere else, TNA, yeah. AEW, wherever that is, ICW, he might go back home. Right. Work on ICW for a minute. Uh, I think he brings a lot of stock to wherever he's going. Right. Or right. even if he comes back, whatever it is, like Drew McIntyre has been hater of the year, <laughs> like supremely, yeah. and he's doing his thing at that. So I hope – I, I would hope that he comes back to WWE because yeah. of that, but yeah. hey, man, you know, well, the, I mean, it was teasing a few with him and Punk. So the reason yeah. he actually yeah. lost right the belt was because he was messing around with Punk. Oh, Punk, we'll see, there you go. Punk tripped him up, and then uh, Punk did something to him. I can't remember. Okay, and then okay. Damian Priest coming in with the Money in the Bank briefcase. See, and, there and you did, go, and did a Seth Rollins. So okay. uh, well, maybe, maybe they give him an extension. Yeah. You know, Punk looks like he's almost back. Maybe they give him an extension. Yeah. To, have one or two matches. With I would Punk. like to see that. And then, you know, honestly, we have to. Yeah. They've built to it. They've done a great job of doing that. So hopefully they get that out. Whatever the future holds for right. Drew McIntyre, right. Drew Galloway. Yep. If he leaves, mm-hmm. you know. Yep. And shout out to him, man. He's one of the OG people that we hung out with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Back when we were, yeah. Yeah, we were younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super cool. Yeah, yeah. He's a super cool dude. Yep. So, yep. Uh, what else do we have? We had, uh, after that, we <laughs> <laughs> we had the gin and juice sponsored. Man, listen. <laughs> the gin and juice sponsored match of the AOP and the uh, Final Testament versus uh uh Street Profits and Bobby Lashley. Can, can I can I can I rant just a little go bit? Ahead, go ahead, can go we ahead. You please got it. You give got these it. three niggas a name instead yeah. of calling them the Street Profits and Bobby Lashley. Y'all can't come up with a creative name. No, because they don't want to call them the hurt business. Okay. Okay, but they, they, I mean, but they talking about we going back to our old roots and throwing up the fist like they was doing Nation of Domination. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, can we, can we please? Yeah, it don't got to be hurt. Can we give y'all a name? Nah. I want a name. <laughs> nah, because the, the the thing was, Hurt Business was Bobby's idea. Oh, okay. You know, okay. Bobby got that from his MMA gym. Okay. You know, the MMA gym that he was with, they called themselves the Hurt Business. So he was like, yo, let me find some other black cats in the company and call ourselves that. Okay. So I think that they took that. They they took all the cast that was in there, they did their thing, okay. and now they're like, oh well, you know, let's, let's find something else to call them, right, right. And they haven't figured it out. Gotcha. They're just like, yo, there's this just the four of them. Okay. The Bobby Lashley, Street Fabers, and B Fab. Uh huh. You know, yeah. B, shout out to shout out to B Fab being the last person standing from Hit Row. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, she's the last one standing. Last one standing doing a damn good job. Hey, shout out to Snoop Dogg, man. This yeah. dude okay. needs to be on commentary and that's, every and, day. And that's what I was gonna say. The Gin and Juice mask pissed me. The sponsorship, Gin and Juice sponsorship, pissed me off until Snoop was on commentary. Right, right. Snoop did, like, listen, they should have had Snoop on commentary for the rest of the night, yeah. especially in the main event. Yeah. Cause he he says he said y'all done broke grandma table right <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all done grandma broke... table oh looks like we got the press conference yeah we got the press conference on we gonna uh, go ahead. guess we'll do this again yeah we are gonna do that Chris Leginti uh, I don't know who this guy is who he is Chris Legental. yeah it's not it's not Bomber Saxon dressed like a a, uh, crip. a crip yeah a crip at a wedding. Bailey and the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes in that order. Of course, as always. Okay, we got Bailey, we got Damian Priest, and we got uh, American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes coming out. Triple H after that at the press conference. Byron, 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 Byron,
Uh, what other matches did we have? Wait, here everybody was saying, oh, uh, now nah, what is this nigga this got nigga on? This look like a disco ball. <laughs> Bruh. This nigga look like the bottom of a Dr. Uh, show. Man, come on, Byron, man. Like, you can tell, like, who don't, who try too much, man. Look at this bright-ass bow tie he got on, man. <laughs> You know what that look like? You know, you know what that look like? You know, the reflector that be on the side of the car that don't work. Like it, it don't work. It's just there, so you can see if light hit it. That's what that bow tie look like. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. But I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. He looked like when Michael Jackson died. Oh shit. He went right in his closet and found that suit. He said, "Oh man, damn, my bow." All right, cool. Let me. All right, cool. Let me. Let me borrow this real quick. This dude ain't helping either. (laughs) God (laughs) dang, man. No, man. Shout out to Damian Priest, man. We snuck. We snuck in the Wale Mania with that nigga, man. Yeah, we did. Yeah, there you go, champion. Yep. We snuck in the Wale Mania with this nigga when he was Punishment Martinez. Yep. Yep. He will forever be my dude. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Wale. Yep. Sorry, not sorry. I don't <laughs> right now, I'm really not sorry. I, I really don't care. Yeah, don't <laughs> we walked in. Yes, Damian Priest, world heavyweight champion. Yes. Uh, taking questions Adrian from the crowd. With Sports. Damian, congratulations. <laughs> you become the first WWE world champion of Puerto Rican descent. Hell wow. yeah. First Puerto Rican WWE champion. I love it. That's dope. Hell yeah. Shout out to Puerto Rico, man. Yeah. Puerto Rico is a dope spot. What's the message? Uh, I think everybody by now knows how yeah. proud I am and I am a, how adamant I am about cultural representation. Yep. Yeah. Shout out to my homies in Puerto Rico, yeah. man. I didn't do this alone. I think I had not just a, an island behind me. Yeah, he been he been working hard for a minute. Yes, yes. One of the most. He's gonna lose it to Gunther, though. <laughs> Man, <laughs> <laughs> foreshadowing. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think Gunther's, Gun- Gunther's next in line. Yeah, Gunther is next in line. I hope he keep it for a minute. Yeah, I hope him and Finn yep. fight for it. Uh, we, we were talking about this earlier, but you know, rumor has it that Finn's contract is up. Yep. We don't know if he's resigning. Yep. You know, hopefully that him and Finn can fight for the World Heavyweight Championship. And we'll, we'll figure out. We'll figure it out. Maybe maybe Prince Devitt coming back. Yeah. Drew, man, back he got heat in the back, man. They let you get the belt for one solitary for five minutes. <laughs> And then you, just lose you know it. what though? But shout out to Drew, man. He had he had the belt in the pandemic era. Yeah, he did. He yeah. had the, he had it in the Thunderdome era. Yeah. He didn't get no fan support. He yeah, didn't get none of that's that. That's true. He came back the next year. Got beat by Bobby last year. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I I, I understand where you coming from. Where you coming from? Right. For sure. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna take a minute. Like we're 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 cooking right now. Um, obviously, all our sellouts. Yeah, uh, Damian Priest yeah, saying that yeah, WWE is cooking right now, yeah. and they one hundred percent are. Yeah, they are. Pro pro wrestling is booming right now. Yeah, bro. it is. You can't you can't front. Pro wrestling booming. Mm-hmm. Ooh, there you go. They are though. Yeah, they are true. though. They making some money. Yeah, yeah. That that attitude yeah. yeah. would have dreamed of making yeah, ten million yeah. dollars yeah. off a yeah. of TV deal. That, you right. You, <laughs> you know got saying? a point. You know, you got a point. Yeah, million 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 million. Million. yeah. You got a point. <laughs> you got a point. The same thing I've been doing. Just be better tomorrow than I was yesterday. <laughs> I love the attitude era, but they the, the censors would have shut them down from making a billion dollars. Right. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to know if you can give us your thoughts on the last year of your career from starting Judgment Day last year at WrestleMania. You went to Puerto Rico, had that banger with Bad Bunny, winning mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. winning yep. money in the bank, and now this. Yeah, I mean, it's been a long time. It's one of those things that's really hard to put into words. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What's happened? <laughs> starting from you know, two years ago, we formed the Judgment Day. You know, there was. Shout out to Edge. Shout out to Edge. <laughs> Adam Copeland. Possibly be main eventers or have been main eventers, but they're just floating. Yeah. And then it took off to a different direction. And I'll be mm-hmm. honest, there was a moment that I wasn't sure yeah. it was going to work. And yeah. I thought I was done. Mm. I wasn't even sure I was going to still be here with the company, mm. to be honest. Man. Wow. wow. And 
I don't know. It was just the addition. I was Damian like, Priest wasn't sure he was going to be with the company if uh, Judgment Day didn't work. Right. Now, JD, I feel like all of our differences made something special, you know, and, and all of us bring out the best of each other. And then yep. Going into Puerto Rico and that event, which I still to this day, uh, to me, is, it was one of the most important matches of my career. Because yeah. Win or Puerto Rico was one of the most important matches yep. in Priest's career. Yep. Bad Bunny joint that showed that he can carry somebody. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, Bad Bunny's dope. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, you gotta have a real professional wrestler to carry that. That's true. And now you see the business we're doing in all these other countries. Mm -hmm. From Australia was incredible. Yeah, it was. And then we flew into Money in the Bank, which was in London, and that was cool. But even (laughs) still, you know, you you never know what's gonna happen. And obviously, it, it took me a minute to cash in. Yeah. Uh, but talk about one of the greatest, if not the Yeah, my question would be, yeah. Time. Hey, Damon, why do you cash in on Roman? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why we don't need to be out there. Exactly. Right. <laughs> well, he by because Cody won. Why do you cash in on him? <laughs> he was type of shit. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it from, from a KFA perspective, yeah. you got to cash in on a cat that, so, so Seth was already messed up right. from night one. Right, right. So then Drew comes in uh night two, wins it, right. but also has CM Punk messing up. Like so you gotta cash in yeah. then. Yeah. You know true. what I'm saying? I believe I was Cody would have been relatively fresh if he cashed in. Yeah. Yeah. I wanna double I will double the amount of matches if I could. You know what I mean? Like that that doesn't doesn't the idea of this being the workhorse championship, bring it. That's mm-hmm. what I want to do. I want. I want it all. You know. I, obviously, we know our champions' schedules change. You know, when, when when you're the guy or one of the guys or one of the girls, like a lot of is asked of you. Give me the questions. Mm. Yeah, I'd love to give the answers. So, Damian Priest talking about being the guy on Raw, right? You know what I'm saying? I, and I think that's that's a, that's a little detail that he kind of missed out on. He's the guy on yeah, Raw. He's the man on Raw. He's the man on mm-hmm. Raw. He's he's Mr. Netflix. Yeah, he's <laughs> Mr. Netflix. That's the Netflix championship yeah, that's right the there. That's the Netflix championship. <laughs> <laughs> and I plan to do it justice. Right on. One last question for Damian Priest. We snuck in the wallet, man. Yeah, with, with this with nigga, dog. Yeah. I can't. I can't get over yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right behind. I'm, I'm happier for him than Cody. I ain't gonna lie to you. Right. I'm happy for Cody. Right. But come on, dog. Yep. We was in the trenches with this nigga. Right. <laughs> he wants to. He calls stuff that the Now you're the war chief. Shout out to uh, DJ Porter Rock. Yeah. 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 <laughs> DJ Porter Rock. Shout out to DJ Porter Rock. He was supposed to get us in the wallet money, but right. didn't. You know and what up? What up, man? I hope you're listening. <laughs> About 10 years ago, I was homeless. Mm. Sitting in front of you as the world heavyweight champion in the WWE. Nobody thought I would be on the stage. And I even doubted myself. Damn. Then I decided one day to the next, just what am I doing with my life? This is my dream. You should be the hardest worker for your own dream because it's, it's yours, not nobody else's. There you go. I'm the I'm the example for people who don't know or they're not sure if they can achieve something. Right on. If I did it, literally anybody could achieve their stuff because, like I said, there was points that I had, had no business being in. Mm. But you bust your ass and you do everything in a positive way. I truly, truly believe that there's nothing you can't achieve. There you go. So for anybody out there that's not sure of something, Uh oh. <laughs> look at what I just did. At WrestleMania. Proud. Again, man. Yep. So I'm happy for this dude, yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> I'm happy for this dude, man. Shout out to shout out to Damian Priest, man. World heavyweight champion yep. in WWE. You talk about being homeless 10 years ago, right. like all of that, man. Like he's doing his thing. Yep. He's doing his thing. Here come Byron Saxton. Look at this suit. Here come Byron Saxton. He got 
Turn the <laughs> brightness down on your TV. Shit. <laughs> he got that bag of thumbtacks on the Ohio Smith section. Motherfucking suit look like, you know, when using the Millennium Falcon and Star Wars right before it go at the light speed. <laughs> Well, old moon face. Old moon face, as my wife says. Here comes Bailey. Hey, you know what? Honestly, shout out to Bailey. Shout out to Bailey and EO Sky in their title match. They came into a match cold. Yeah. With like nothing really behind it, and by the end of it, the fans were one hundred percent behind That's Bailey. True. That's true. That's what that you want. Yeah. That's what you want from a wrestling match, right? And especially from a title match. Yeah. Like shout out to Bailey, shout out to EO Sky for that. Yep. Hey Bailey, congratulations! Thank you. All right, let's open up the floor to questions, and we will start off in the fourth row. Today's Salcedo Instincts Culture, Bailey. Congratulations! Right over Is that undisputed or unified champion? I can't women's. Does it say women's universal champion? Yeah, when it, when it, women's uh, or universal uh, champion. Univer- yeah, okay. universal champion. And then winning and having this moment. Who is that on her shirt, though? Wow, that's why. I, um, the, I didn't know. Like the spark. The spark. The, the, spark. Was, uh, the crowd, for one. I am newly. Who is that? I don't know who that is. So I was uh, c- concerned that, you know. Somebody she rubbed somebody on her shirt. Yeah, and I can't spark. tell who that is. Sometimes you guys were. I'm an idiot too. It's fine. It's fine. It happens. Um, I wasn't sure how it was going to be because Eo is so incredibly talented and it's hard to not cheer for her. She's so amazing, but she's a really bad friend. So I was very excited <laughs> to hear that everyone still had my back after all these years. I truly think that my journey um, through the WWE these past 11 years has like, we have cemented such a connection myself and the fans and all of you guys so um coming out i felt like oh, we're not gonna get cm punk out here in the media screw who's like the empty-headed dumb fuck <laughs> hangman page <laughs> go out on national tv <laughs> and going to business for himself <laughs> They're not, gonna let, they're not gonna let CM Punk go out on a uh, on a new scrum until he pissed off. Yeah, he gonna he gonna win a belt and he gonna burn all this shit down. Right. <laughs> and all you all you cast was like, man, this ain't, this ain't the regular job is wrestling. All y'all gonna see right. is CM Punk gonna get fired <laughs> from WWE, <laughs> just like he would have got fired from Frito Lay. <laughs> <laughs> It ain't, a, it ain't a regular job. Nah, nigga. Nah. <laughs> See, y'all gotta understand this Frito Lay analogy, man. CM Punk did the exact same thing. He did the exact same thing. <laughs> it ain't a regular job because Jack Perry is, is, is a little bit. I don't think working at Frito Lay is a regular job. Come on, say. That's a regular Frito Lay is a leader ass job. <laughs> You don't go to an office. <laughs> it's a different job. You're literally going to different places every day. Every single day. <laughs> and, and, you, and you manage not to put your hands right. on anybody that work in any other place. Right. Let me stop. <laughs> Before we keep going. We'll, we'll make a clip out of this. Yeah. Jada Stone. Yeah, that's the homie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Jada Stone. Yeah, that's the homie. Oh, okay. Yeah. I knew that was Jada Stone. Yeah. And wait for everybody to pull out, and she would have like boss and hug custom shoes drawn. That's what's up. We're like tag team champions, and she would wait out every single time, whatever city that was. Hmm. And now she's like wrestling on the indies. Yeah, Jada Stone, she's doing her thing. Shout out to Bailey for for for, for bigging her up. As a champion, that's dope. Yep. This is what pro wrestling is about, right yep. here. Yep. You you get Bring a platform. You get a platform and you bring people up yep. behind you. Yep. That's what's up. Uh, first off, congratulations. Um, last night, hearing Rhea Ripley talk after she defeated Becky Lynch, there was a lot of passing of the torch talk, so to speak, with Rhea and, and Bianca, with, especially with Rhea's wins over uh, Charlotte last year as well. 
I like the the four horse. Charlotte can come back hungry though. <laughs> oh, Charlotte come back hella hungry. Yeah. Her husband, her husband back in WWE yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she ready to go. I didn't, I didn't been going long enough. She ready to go. It's my time. Mm-hmm. She's gonna be the sixteen time world heavyweight champion. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Before long, yeah. yeah. She is once in a lifetime. I get so jealous of her. Um, first, I have so much respect for her because she works her butt off. She does every single. I mean, you guys see Judgment Day on every single show. Yep. Like, Ten times throughout the night. And Judgment Day is on every show. Easy. It's sometimes not always fun. It's so, mm. it's very hard. So I have all the respect for the work she does. Plus, she puts on incredible matches. She'll be like, she's so young, so athletic. She does one drop kick that I can't even. I can't do a drop kick to someone's knees. You know, it's like everything she does makes me mad. Um, it's good though as the time comes for the four horse women to lift the division up and get better and better as we wanted to do from the beginning i'm glad that it's going to someone like rio ripley there you go and it's going to somebody i mean one of the horse women ain't ain't in the company no more she's not uh, well for now now she says she's eventually going back yeah i mean yeah she'll be back she'll be back Candice LeRae is like finally showing her face out there. You got all the girls. Candice LeRae is doing her thing. Jericho looking over there like, I'm making some money. Um, Jericho, Jericho is coming back. Okay. Yeah. Jericho coming back yeah. over. <laughs> he's coming back over at least for the uh, yeah. Hall of Fame. Yeah, man. They, they, uh, cooking over. Fine. Yeah, he's coming back at least for the Hall of Fame. Because Jericho is not cooking in AEW no, he's right not. now. He's not. He's everything Jericho doing in AEW right now is just kind of like nigga, get off the fucking TV. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I want to see Swerve. Right, right. I want to see Joe. Momentum wins a great battle lost to Lita Trish and Becky, but then over the last twelve months. That seems to complete the change of this storyline as well with you split from the group and then becoming such a prominent part of this year's event. Uh, what would you say was the turning point in the last year for you all? Um, personally, I think the uh, we just had a weird. It, it was that whole experience was very humbling to me. I I imagined creating the group. It was going to be so different, and the fans were going to love it, and it was just going to we were going to be dominating everything nope. but there's so much more that goes into it behind oh the yeah we had to work on our chemistry like real life chemistry as friends um and share our goals with each other like what we want out of this mm. so that we can help each other get there and i think once we started ironing ironing those things out and getting confident in ourselves and trusting each other um we started to feel better everybody started being themselves sure we sure be once like, vince got uh, uh friends, ousted so officially can, right then EO won the title. Once Vince was like, like oh, oh, they're Japanese. Right, right. The Buki Warriors. <laughs> Gangsters. <laughs> oh. But I think EO winning the title is definitely a <laughs> I ain't going to say that. No, you should. <laughs> I'm, uh, Yo, you definitely should. I, I'm you not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Christina. She Christine, said, she 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 probably not. I ain't going to say it. Probably not a good idea. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's about Vision Man and his allegations. No, don't say it. See, exactly, exactly. <laughs> no, nope. I don't say it. I don't say it. Don't say it. You know, they had a little bit to their entrance. Dakota was on last year's Got Hurt, still made it to this one. Oh, yeah. And then they came out to uh, update, so y'all. Media. This is Mrs. So Rated R, aka Christina. Christina. Yeah. Hi, yeah. y'all. Did you enjoy WrestleMania, baby? For <laughs> sure. What was your favorite thing of WrestleMania to see? Not the last main event when Cody won. That was trash. See, that's my baby. See y'all. See, see that's why we see. You know what? So here's my favorite part was when Jay Cargill came out and it was the Black Girl Magic. There you go. Shout out to my store. There you go. There you go. Shout out to fam. Shout out to fam. Shout out to fam in here. Uh, uh, Jay Cargill is also my wife's uh, favorite wrestler because she got a good weave. But she had, but she wiped the short hair yesterday. I saw it. She wiped the short hair. It yeah. looked nice. She rocked natural. Also, uh, shout out to y'all because she has the hoodest LSs yeah. that I've ever uh, seen LSs in my life. I saw that intro. It was awesome. Yeah. Even though she came out to uh, the St. Louis staple, Sexy Red, right? Mm-hmm. Pretty girls all like this. Good ghetto fun. Yeah. 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 Yep. 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 The first ladies of this podcast think that uh, Cody Rowe looks like a magician or like a ring leader of a circus. Yes, yes, yes. And, so, you, and you said Seth Rollins looks like what? A bat. 
<laughs> you heard it here first, y'all. I'm gonna make sure the AI picks up that so we can make that into a clip. Seth Rollins <laughs> looks like a bat. Seth Rollins looks like a bat. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm gonna type in on the AI. Give me a clip where we say Seth Rollins looks like a bat. <laughs> <laughs> if it shows like some Batman shit, <laughs> uh, they, 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 so the title. Okay, just to give y'all the peek behind the curtain. So okay. we be using AI for our clips, right? Right. But sometimes the AI be having weird ass titles uh-huh. for the clips. So they be like, "Yes, uh, you know, Batman <laughs> secret identity revealed as Seth Rollins." <laughs> Be <laughs> showing Seth Rollins in the back cave and shit. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, hey, shout out to Bailey, man. Shout speaking out. Speaking of Seth Rollins, shout out when that Shield music came hey, on. Listen, hey, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna give me another soda. Bro. We're gonna keep talking. When Shield music hit, we thought John Moxley. We was coming thought out. John Moxley was coming out only for Seth Rollins to come out and get punched in the face immediately, <laughs> immediately, immediately. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I thought John Moxley was coming out. Yeah, this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else he look? He, he don't, every time it's I got a new joke. He look, he like the bottom of an Easter shoe. He looks like when you go to. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bottle of an Easter shoe. <laughs> he looks like he just sprayed that shit with McGuire's tire shine. Cody <laughs> Rhodes. <laughs> oh man, take right, here come here come right, go, WWE undisputed <laughs> world heavyweight champion. Man. The American Nightmare, Cody Rose. Here he come. Ooh. Yeah, Daryl, don't mute that out. Ooh. Ooh. Daryl will have a super cut. Boo. The story continues. The story continues. You already got okay. the logos on there? Nah, he don't. Not yet. He already got a whole t-shirt. Yeah. The, story, yeah. the story continues. Yeah. And, you know, WWE wasn't going to send that to starving kids in Africa. You know Does it seem weird, this belt? Being with somebody else right now, bro. This don't even seem right. <laughs> it still got Roman logos on it. This shit don't even seem right. That's not your belt. <laughs> it, it, but it, it had to go to somebody. Yeah. I thought Cody was going. I thought Cody was going to get it. I thought Cody was going to get it. I thought it'd have been at SummerSlam. Yeah. WWE did the right thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did. I'm, they did the right thing. I ain't gonna lie to you. On that note, our first question. We'll head to right here, second row. What do you think Tony Khan is feeling right now? <laughs> She's probably like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Well, um, My dude. Finish the story, but back in 1981, your father, Dusty Rhodes, won his first title. He did something his brother didn't even do. Dustin, yeah. Dustin was in a continental champion. Because you got to remember, uh, Cody Rhodes in AEW booked himself to never fight for the AEW championship ever again. Right. He did that to himself. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I don't know, kismet, destiny. Uh, that's one of those moments. A lot of people would ask me, well, what's going to feel like if you uh, if you can beat the tribal chief, if you can beat Roman Reigns? And I, I really was honest when I said, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I've never been in the end zone before. You know, I've, uh, I've been 1B. I've main evented shows. Uh, I've, I, I've been able to to be in the main event but there's a difference between being in the main event and being the mm-hmm. main event. for sure yeah roman reigns cody didn't even do that in his own company yeah, nope. not good friends but that's the greatest championship reign in sports and yeah he does have a hard list and as much as I don't agree with his... Shout out to the Roman Reigns Jordans, though. The them the models are kind of hard. Mm-hmm. I still hope I can be half the champion that, that he, he was for WWE as a leader, um, as the quarterback. In the moment, I was so happy just to see um, my friends 
don't have a lot of friends in wrestling, you know, and then you do and they turn on you. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Kevin Owens is a huge part of my journey. Yep. I wouldn't. I wouldn't so Kevin Owens actually told the hit up the young Bucks because Kevin Owens cool with the young bucks. Mm -hmm. When Cody left, he was like, "Hey, Bucks, look out after my dude." Okay, that's how they got. That's how they got cool. Okay, yeah, yep. Yeah, like Cody. He was like, "Cody's a good guy. Look after him on the Indies." Okay, got you. Yep. I didn't think I would see Randy just because he's he'd probably get on his bus. Mm. You know, he's, he's Randy. He's Randy. He's Randy. <laughs> <laughs> he's Randy. <laughs> I got to watch be a champion. That was amazing. Legacy, uh, shout out to Legacy. Joe. Shout out to Teddy Biasa Jr. who about to go to jail. They're going to they go to prison. <laughs> PPP loans. <laughs> For wrestling, man. You got to love it. Just, just a lot of victims of the bloodline in a sense. There was that, I think more than anything, just circling back to what you asked, I think that was just the joy. You, you know, there's a respect for Roman and the bloodline, no doubt, but nothing is bigger than uh, <laughs> Undertaker say, yo, you need to calm that final boss shit down just a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're talking too loud. The final boss, nigga. I'm the final yeah, boss. Yeah, exactly. You're talking too loud. You're talking a little bit too, too loud. loud. <laughs> I was down here in the ring chilling. Yeah. You doing all this rah 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 shit? All right, choke slam your ass to hell, and that motherfucker disappeared like a boss in a video game. He really when did. He, away. he really did. <laughs> it was like when you beat X Men and you beat Magneto, but then you got to start the game back over. Yeah. Like, Where the rock go? Oh yeah. shit! Oh damn! We back in the game. I'm just still blown away that I got to be in the paper um, nope. during that amateur wrestling run. I had. They just married the Daily Journal was like a propaganda rag for me. They were just, <laughs> they were all about me. So yes, anything. Well, I know you said that. Yeah, shout out to, <laughs> shout out to Cody. He was a uh, a uh, 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 wrestling champion in high school. Okay, in Georgia. Wow. Also, he uh, stole Xavier Woods' chick. Oh, when they was back in high school. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know he wasn't out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got heat for them. Yeah, yeah. He beat he beat Xavier Woods uh -huh. in Georgia and stole the shit. Damn. Yeah. Yep. I I think uh, sometimes it feels like it's a father son story. It's just something that you know, father daughter, father son that a lot of people can see and relate to. But then, if I'm truly being honest, I think it's a story of. As much as I had the legacy and I had the last name, I didn't, I wasn't born with all the tools. You know, my brother's six four. You know yeah. how pissed off I was when I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> um, my dad, D Dustin literally had all of the, yeah. the, 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 the yeah, everything. The natural. The natural shit. Yeah, that's why he was the natural. Yeah, yeah exactly. Resonate. That, that, that works for them, you know, like. You can make it to the main event. So now, so now to Tony Khan want to book another uh, Rose fighting I another Joe for the World Heavyweight it. Championship. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And at my age and, and where I'm at in my career. Watch him win, dude. I know that's not the <laughs> Nah, that's a, that's a, that's a warm one for, uh, for, for Joe oh, Swerve. Okay. Yeah. Joe, Joe Swerve is solid for here in uh, okay. St. Louis. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was uh, Cody's in main, you know, WrestleMania. Okay, let's put Dustin in here, yeah. get people talking. I wanted to be this because at first he wasn't, and I thought he should have been. You yeah. And then when he passed away, I failed. You know, I didn't hand it to him. But it became about, I said, the biggest story. baby face since Cena. Mm -hmm. was playing the story was, was beyond me at that point. And I still felt the, the need to 
to finish it. I've been saying all week, I think I said it on first take too, that even if I didn't believe, people believed. <coughs> so I had to do it. Um, and I know this isn't what you asked at all, but uh, something that I wanted to, to share. I came to the back. And uh, Bruce Pritchard and Triple H and Nick Khan handed me uh, this. Uh, the Rolex. Same watch that my dad had. Rolex. That he pawned mm. so that I could go to yeah. acting school. Wow. Yeah. So. The level of investment and responsibility that the company just put in my hands. I, uh, I hope I can pay it back, pay it forward a hundred times over. Cody's the biggest thing in WWE right now, yeah. to be honest with you. Yeah. you hey, he's, I know, baby. Hey, I'm, hey. Not, I'm not happy about that either. But he's also, he's also going to be that cat. Like Roman, Roman ain't wrestling 250 days no. a year. Cody is. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? What is the new epilogue, the new narr- narration for your story now as you become as you become the world heavyweight champion? What is this new story to you? How do you lead that? I think one of the biggest fears I had coming into this, especially after WrestleMania 39, one of the biggest fears I had was if I did finish the story if i did win i would have nothing left mm. that it would literally have taken everything i've ever done every match i've ever been involved with every partner i've ever had every bit of me it would take and i can tell you the moment charles robinson hit three i knew i have everything left to give still there you go i have a whole nother level you know, you hear, you've heard the former champion say all the time there are levels to this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just leveled up. <laughs> and I think if you know me, you know that I'll owe it to the WWE fans, pro wrestling fans, WWE Universe, that what we do next has to be extremely special. I just heard Bailey talking about the industry, where it's at. Uh, I, I don't want that to end. I don't think any of us want that to end. And, and, and my phone did you knocked on the floor takes, takes uh, the yeah takes the locker room takes the leaders takes the quarterback and they just made me that so are you we're in so you're not happy about cody rose <laughs> in WWE <laughs> yeah. we're gonna we're gonna milk this out baby what you think you're here first we go for you guys cody rose and his dip gets on let's rate it our nerves who do you want to see champion, baby? I want Roman Reigns to continue his uh I think that's easy. Reign. Me too. Champion. And break records. Right. Me too. There you go. Not just in most way, just for sub WrestleMania sidebar your question a Main events. Main yeah. events, which he broke one. today. Mm-hmm. But I wanted it's hard to follow. Most days. It's, all it, of things. I, I, I want all of them. <laughs> And, and a lot thank, of times, thank you. Friends, and all my friends and family, they're all here. They always, I remember where I was with Charlotte. Like, you had to you know, do what you did in Charlotte. Yo, when well, she, uh, Charlotte, I thought yeah, we were talking about Charlotte. The rest yeah. of the rest, when she come back, she's about to take over. Yeah, she wants Charlotte versus yeah. Jay Cargill. That's the match. That is the Look match. That. <laughs> that, uh, that, that's the match before the match. Yes. I want to see that. And yeah. then I want to yeah. see Charlotte versus Bianca. Yeah, okay, it's time. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Last question. Uh, Cody, Chris, we you from The Athletic and the Getting Over Wrestling Podcast. Uh, I was going to ask you about the watch, but you revealed that. What was it like uh, giving the belt to your mother and uh, conversations with your family afterwards? One thing about my mom is uh, my mom does not want to be on TV. <laughs> uh, she doesn't want to be where she is. Hey. Doesn't want to be my roots. My roots. roots. She's usually asleep during the show. (laughs) All right. (laughs) 
But uh, I'll tell you something that my uh, she doesn't know this, but I, I'll never forget it. I was really worried when I didn't win at WrestleMania 39. The journey, the thought, how can I get back to WrestleMania 40 and do it all again? And I remember saying to her, I remember saying, I, I just just want to be quarterback. And I remember she didn't mean it in any negative way, but how she slid right in as I said that. And she said, just one time. And when she said that, I realized that I was out of time. It was now or never. WrestleMania yep. 39, like it felt this is the moment. This is it. It's the most obvious thing ever. No. What they asked me, what the challenge was, what they asked this me. This man had something to do with them not being here. So why are you finishing the story? <laughs> you know it and I know it. Because if Vince McMahon was still here, Roman Reigns would have won tonight. Vince McMahon would have 100% made Roman Reigns win again. You're goddamn my pal. The story in WWE doesn't stop. Okay. Johnson. Mr. Heyman, now a Hall of Famer. That's crazy. And of course, the yep. Chief. The man who's on the Mount Rushmore of pro wrestling sports entertainment, Roman Reigns. Um, man. I'm uh, I'm lost in all of this. If that makes any sense, I am. I know Byron's going to say, "Okay, you got to go." <laughs> but uh, if I learn anything from my dad. When it's a good night, you don't want it to end. So with that thought, one more question. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty finish. from the Metro, just over there in the UK. Well, not there in Philadelphia, not the UK. Anyway, you've um, you just mentioned your dad, and yeah. you said not being able to hand that title to him. Mm. What would you say to him with him looking down on you now? If y'all want to keep up with this on the podcast, make sure you turn on the uh, uh, w- the WrestleMania Night Two uh, yes media scrum yeah uh, yeah uh, to keep up with this on the podcast. I yep. know y'all getting a lot of blank air and stuff like that, okay. but if you keep up with it with the timestamps on the on the on the on the uh, on the show, you can keep up with it. Yep, yep. We 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 told y'all when the when the press conference started. Yeah. Just roll with it. Just roll with it. If not, if you're just rocking with us, that's yeah, cool too. Yeah. We appreciate y'all. But you know how you know people are. Sorry, you guys aren't even talking. You ain't saying anything. Hey, you have a podcast. This man, I was I was up until like two thirty in the morning I'm editing this shit last yeah. night. Yeah. You can kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> you can kiss my ass. You talk about dead air. <laughs> 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 I went to sleep at two thirty, and then my son woke up at four. Right, just like, ooh, ooh, nigga, fuck y'all. Sorry, the St. Louis. We got sirens outside. Sirens the window. outside. Yeah, yep. <laughs> nigga, Byron said, "This dude here, man, he looks like." <laughs> Y'all ever had that when you was in, in grade school and y'all had the Crayola 64 pack and they had the silver <laughs> Crayola? That's what this nigga <laughs> looked Byron Saxon with his own, I wanna rock with you, face ass. <laughs> Dance you into like the sunlight. Look like face going, ass. Looking like he's going to a Raiders uh, fucking uh, meet and greet. <laughs> <laughs> Take that sh- shit off. Bobby Sexton looks like he goes to a Raiders ball. <laughs> <laughs> Triple H is locked out. <laughs> it's not a Triple H. <laughs> Shout out to the homie uh, Big Kev, too, man. Yeah, man. Sponsored his press conference to see more energy, which has been a partner for us for, I don't know, about three years now. And I'm proud to announce that they are now the official energy drink of WWE. WWE. There you go. And they will be the uh, co-presenting partner of SummerSlam mm. in uh, Cleveland, Ohio this year. Cleveland. Okay. Partnership. Really excited to do it. 
They didn't announce where Mania was going to be next year. They didn't. Damn. They did. They usually announced that. It'd be nice if they pivoted and they brought it here. Uh, man, I, I ain't going to lie to you. That's what I've been waiting for. Listen, like, The Rock's there. He's our only hope. He yeah. can be like, look, Rock's Rock only fans are short. They, they, St. Louis is coming out for a minor league. Football there was 40,000 yeah. people at a Battle at a Hawks, Battle Hawks game. game. That's for crazy. The UFL. That's crazy. That's insane. That's bro. insane. They almost could have sold out Bush. Exactly. That's nuts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. Yeah. I know, I know the biggest thing with St. Louis is just that it's the airport. Lambert Lambert yeah. don't really get international yeah. flights. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the humor and you move on. Um I do feel like after watching that, this was the biggest WrestleMania of all time. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. yeah, yeah. It yeah. was the biggest wrestling yeah, of all time. Yeah, yeah. we be talking about money wise. Yeah, money wise, one hundred percent. Booking wise, I think too. I think so too. Yeah, honestly. Yep. Getting text messages that say things like, "We just, you know, here, here's where we're at at twelve o'clock uh, for the world or for merch sales or anything," and I'm like, "Whoa." Let's say that was at three o'clock. It opened at twelve o'clock. At three o'clock, I get the text that we just blew last year's number out of the water. Fuck Damn. yeah! Uh, Everything's more expensive. Everybody get paid. <laughs> Everything's more expensive this year. Yep. Social media, by far. Yeah, social media we by far. Yeah. For merchandise, by far. We set records for sponsorship, by far. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Y'all had and, way too many uh, fucking sponsors mm-hmm. on the show. Destroyed records for gate. This was legitimately. On every metric, the biggest WrestleMania of all time. Mm. Yeah, um, the game was things were more yeah, expensive this year too. Two thousand seven hundred and fifty-five in attendance tonight for a total. No matter what Snoop Dogg says, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, y'all gave him the number, right? One hundred forty-five thousand two hundred ninety-eight fans across two days of WrestleMania. He was reading the shit off a paper. That y'all gave him. Right. That y'all gave him. Right. Uh, the world, that does not include any of that. Um, I'm just going to say it again because I'm, I'm digesting it. 145,298. Um, In two nights. I don't, That's, I don't know y'all still be counting the niggas that sell popcorn. Yeah. And the niggas that take tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas selling nachos. Right. Nigga, the, the, the bud man. Right. They count them yeah, niggas. Yeah, them niggas. Anybody want a soda yeah, with a free yeah, straw? They count them niggas. Them niggas. The parking attendant. <laughs> Talk about the show a little bit. I thought last night's show was great. I thought um, it did exactly what it needed to do, which was set the table for tonight. Mm. Um, that's a testament to the to the talent that were in it. The testament to the seventy two thousand plus fans that froze their ass off oh, right. to enjoy it. Hell yeah! Um, Last night was apparently colder than the night. They're not frozen. Right. Why, uh, right. Yeah. You know, um, it, it certainly adds to the to the to the excitement level. Um, but again, I thought last night set the table for tonight perfectly. And mm-hmm. I thought that sort of everything we did tonight then delivered across the board. Um, Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre was just <laughs> off the chart. Yeah. Um, when you create a new championship, whether people debate there's a lineage to it, not, whatever that is, however you want to look at it, you're creating a new championship. And I was thinking about this earlier today because this is the process I went through, creating a new championship. How do I get that championship to be as big as it possibly can be? How do I make it mean everything that it can? How do I make it where everybody should want to win it? I give it to Seth freaking Rollins, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I let him Good go point. to work. Right. Good point. Good point. That's it. Right? And I just let him run with it. And you saw it tonight, what he did with it. Became this unbelievable um, symbol of success that Drew McIntyre was obsessed with winning mm-hmm. almost as he, much as he was obsessed with CM Punk. 
and um, everything that he was saying about Seth Rollins that you are obsessed with Cody's story and it will be somebody to ask man. Triple H was uh, up with Drew McIntyre contract right his obsession with CM Punk um, I will congratulate Drew McIntyre's on beating Seth Rollins and achieving a moment <laughs> that's literally what it was a moment <laughs> he didn't get to do before in the pandemic era a bigger moment Right, one of seventy-two thousand fans that he would have created, even if back then he had won it in front of a house full of people. Exactly. The moment tonight was epic, and then I will put over Damian Priest mm-hmm. for a performance that, as far as I'm concerned, sticks it up everybody's ass. <laughs> that I thought he was the biggest failure and uh, the stupidest guy in the world. Uh, for not cashing in all these times when he did it because he did it at the biggest WrestleMania of all time of course. Yeah. in an epic way. Um, congratulations to them. Um, I want to congratulate Bailey. Bailey is like a foundation yeah. here yeah. for the women's division. I would agree. I don't know that I've... Uh, the women's division was all at Gorilla when she came up. There you go. I don't know that I've ever heard them louder because they do that, you know, they do that for everybody. But it was something different about when she walked up. It's just who she is as a performer. It's who she is as a human being. Um, she's a foundation. And a lot of times because of that, she gets overlooked by people. Exactly. By she gets overlooked by you and booking motherfucker. Right. <laughs> like you booked the show. <laughs> like let's 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 start there. <laughs> you know, echelon sometimes, and she is. She absolutely is, and I'm so happy um, that she's acknowledged for that tonight in front of this crowd and uh, the biggest WrestleMania of all time. So. Um, very exciting. I, I congratulate Logan Paul on another epic outing. You get in the ring with Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. Logan Paul, I, I, tell you how you feel about <laughs> the, the athleticism <laughs> and the, the, the pride <laughs> of, of Logan Paul. He does very well for him to be in WWE. He has some very long. How do you feel about your United States champion of, pro, of WWE? Logan Paul is trash. There you have it, folks. <laughs> Logan Paul is trash. I necessarily don't agree. Let me ask her again. Babe, how do you feel about Logan Paul? Logan Paul is trash. He has always been trash. And he always will be trash. But to sort of think about actually how good he is given That's the all. fact that Wow. Let's take a look. Right. <laughs> so, Mrs. Rated R thinks uh Logan Paul is trash. I don't necessarily agree. I think he does a great job uh for the short time that he's been there. Uh he he shouldn't be as good as he as he is in WWE, I'm, I'm of, sorry. I, yeah, he should be. Shout shout out to the, the the streaming cat that was the prime energy drink mascot. They got uh, Randy Orton got they, kicked him. They, they, Randy Orton smooth kicked him in the gut. <laughs> that wasn't a working kick. That wasn't another kick shit out of him. He kicked the shit out of dude. <laughs> Absolutely for certain, the greatest of all time to do what he has done. Um, to overcome all the things in his career and the positioning and the stuff that he had to get through and hung in there to get where he needed to be to deal with his physical issues and his health issues to overcome to Bro, I'm like, I'm going home. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's like, look, I'm 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 gonna sit at home for the next six months. Right. Like easy. And then to go out there and put on a run like nobody has ever put on before. <laughs> also with uh Jay of Fat Two talking about he uh, signed with WWE. Uh-huh. Where does he get plugged in? Mm. Mm. I'm like Jimmy Jimmy and Jason, like they have their own thing. Solo yep. has his own thing. Yep. Where's Jacob Jacob Fatu fit in? That's a good question. Say during that period of time that they were in it, they changed the industry. They changed the industry. 
Uh, I mean that in front of the camera. I mean that behind the camera. He's changing the industry. He's that good. Um, can't say enough good stuff about him. And then to do what he did tonight with Cody Rhodes and complete that this and, and it's not completing the story. It's just it's just getting to the end of this chapter. Because he's going to go on a whole new story uh -oh. that is going mm -hmm. to be people's minds, I think. Whoa. Um, uh oh. He's going to take it to a whole other level. But uh oh. I uh, can't tell you how much respect I have for Roman Reigns. Oh, what does Ooh. that mean? What does that mean? We already got something planned for Roman Reigns. Right now to make a baby face. 100%. Almost everybody likes. The hardest thing to do in this business right now is to make a baby face. You know, yes. Buy into that story and, and be that guy. Cody's that guy, but he's not that guy because it was manufactured. He's that guy because he's just that guy. One hundred percent. The right human being. He's the right person. He's the right. That's what I said. This proves that Triple H is, is listening to the fans yeah, in true. a way that Vince was not. Yep, that's true. It's all that. Um, I'm just. I'm, I'm so happy for him. And when you talk about overcoming things, um, you know. He's got to go back and look at his career and the things he's done. Um, he's he's we got an hour mark here. To come for you guys. Yeah, we 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 keeping it rolling. Yeah. The mic the mic's in charge. Yeah. <laughs> he's never quit. He's never given up. When one road shut down, he went to another road. When that road shut down, he made his own guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the road all the road all of them they led back here. Yep, and. uh to where his dream always was and man i without getting emotional about it i could feel his dad today. hey yo <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy no diddy i could feel him out there with us uh, it was an incredible moment that's just as a oh yeah ah. shit. <laughs> it was an incredible moment for a human being and uh he means a lot to me. He means a lot to everybody here, and I'm I'm just I'm proud of him. I'm happy for him, and uh, I know he's going to do amazing stuff now on this run. So I'm um, super excited. That's why Cody beat Brock too, didn't he? Cody did uh, beat Brock. Did, yeah, he, beat Brock. he ain't got Brock's respect. Yeah, he did. He did. Tomorrow night we're gonna we we well last Monday we set a record, the largest gross in the history of domestic television. Uh, for that, we got to do it. And that record will last till tomorrow because we're about to smash it. <laughs> um, and then also over the next few days, you're going to see our talent everywhere. When we say we're taking WWE to a whole nother level, the, the amount of press, the amount of what does appearances, the amount this of coverage mean? for WrestleMania, you're going to see our talent tomorrow. Oh, they're, they're going to be on everything. They're going to be on Sports Center. They're going to be on Today Show. They're going to be on Jackass. They're going to be on Wipeout. <laughs> They feel be on This Is Us. <laughs> they feel be on Power. They feel be on Power. They feel be on BMF. They feel be on Game of Thrones. They feel be on Ghosts. <laughs> Abbott Elementary. Elementary. Yeah, exactly. Shit, Abbott, Abbott, Abbott Elementary is in Philly. Oh, They're probably going to have a WrestleMania episode. Right. Oh, that's not my era. It's our era. When I say our, I mean everybody in WWE. The the people that endured, the people that endured, there, mm -hmm. the people that hung in there after Vince, the people that uh, over the last came back when Vince got uh, let go. Yep. Um, Shout out to Andrade. Their sweat and tears to get to where we are, because somewhere along the way they trusted a process that led. Them Shout out to the cast that was in AEW that Triple H hit up. It was like, "Hey, Vince, gone, dog. What's up?" Right, right. <laughs> how um, how great this can be. We all started kind of in a similar place where we just thought this was the greatest form of entertainment in the world. And we wanted to do it, work our asses off at it, and make fans all around the world who will make a product that they could all enjoy and that um, 
they could love again. And uh, so it's, well, people are throwing my name at the top of it. It's their era. They're every bit as much as mine. I can't do this without all of them. I need them to do it. And two of the people at the very tippity top of that, one is new here, um, but has just been, no pun intended, a game changer, uh, Lee Fitting. From a production standpoint, from a what we're doing. Yeah, you know, there you go. Feel, um, all of it. You see changes happening every week. On yeah. TV yep, yep, yeah. More yep, shout out to Lee Fitting. People excited by them and um, just loving the changes that are made. But I'm telling you, there's so much. Shout out to Kevin Dunn for uh, walking aside. Right. To sort of uh, Lee, Nick, and myself to slowly roll out some of those changes. Over time, there's a lot more coming. Mm. But when I tell you Lee Fitting, that I love working with him. Get rid of the motherfucking 20 minute promos at the beginning of the shows. Yeah. Start wrestling with and wrestling. Yeah. For me, he's the kind <laughs> I of guy that I want to. I want to go to work for. I want to. I want to. I want to do stuff to make his job easier, and I want to collaborate with him, and I want to make things better with him. So I can't say enough good stuff about him. Um, a lot of the change that you see and a lot of the success that you're seeing comes from Lee Fitting. And then uh, Nick Khan. I can't even begin to describe the change that he's made here. And as if, if you wanted to boil it all down to a spear tip, it should be, uh, he should hey, be uh, mentioned in the top of that. It's his era too. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> There's nobody Spirit right it. now. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. It's it's such an amazing partnership with a guy that I have so much respect for that man, it just clicks. And um, he's the biggest difference maker I've ever seen. Mm. And together, Shout to Nick Khan. I can promise people uh, with everything else I just mentioned, with Lee, or with Nick. Um, at the top of it, there, there's no ceiling on this. We're going to take places it's never been before. So I just want to thank those guys and say, when they say whatever era they want to call it, no, that's for you just as much as it is for me. And then the last thing I want to say is, and then my wife looked good, right? <laughs> <laughs> um. I can't even tell you what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> hey, 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 you know, we good. <laughs> so great to have her back home. Right? I get her home all the time, but like to, to have her back here, to see the doubt leave her by being here for the last few days. Shout out to Vince. To see her confidence come back. No. Shout out to you ain't shit. <laughs> shout, shout out to Janelle Grant. <laughs> where can they find you at? Where Where can they find? We signing off. Where where can, can find, hey man, they can find me at Franchise Six Six F R A S C H C Zero Six. You can find me on social media platforms like R Number Eight T D Underscore R. We're done. Yeah, we out of here. You're finished. We We out of here. We come for you guys. Our reaction to WrestleMania Night Two. That's it. We out of here, man. We Bye. go. We go. We gonna come back to y'all with our like full reactions. Shout out, Miss Radio. Oh, you yeah, anything to say? Somebody asked a bad question. Shit. What? Um, no. 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 All right. We out. We out. Bye. Peace. Peace. If you like that video, make sure that you click on the subscribe button on the left hand side of this video to hear more from the We Coming for You cast. And you know, well, you like that video, man. Don't waste my damn time. Subscribe.